In this video, I'm going to take a look at uh, setting up a traditional strip foundation and drawing it in 2D. So it's really a construction detail that we're going to look at. So uh, we see a uh, completed drawing here. There's a couple of wee things in it that uh, are from the workbook. And we're going to base it on that there. So I'm going to start by drawing from the foundation itself. So the, the width of the foundation here uh, is three times the width of the wall, which in our case is 1,050. And we're drawn to a scale of 1 to 10. So then 350 will be the depth, so it's 35 millimeters. So I'm just drawn with this rectangle from the bottom. Making sure to keep light lines light and then put in heavy what we need. So 335s across this here will give us our 350. I draw a wall uh, at either side at 100 millimeters, so that's 10 millimeters on either side. Centrally located on uh, the foundation. You can see here in the drawing a, a ground line is what we want to draw and it, it shows 600 millimeters to the bottom of the foundation which I'd rather take it 600 millimeters from the top of the foundation because in reality seldom you'll have anything less than uh, four to six blocks in height which really is 600 millimeters so I'm drawing my ground line and I always like to um, also draw um, the line on the inside of the wall then as the top level for my hardcore which I'm drawing here and I'm drawing a depth of uh, 225 millimeters below the ground line as what uh, should be my hardcore. The hardcore is uh, just a graded fill and above that then uh, a line showing the blinding and the blinding is roughly 25-30 millimeters of sand or dust which is spread on top of that so that uh, when the DPM goes down on that it doesn't get perforated. Uh, so it differs a little from the actual workbook drawn, uh, where I always like to have that set up there. So I'm drawn in my insulation, which I'm allowing 100 millimeters. But this and current rig with current building standards improving all the time, that's liable to increase as well too. So 100 millimeters, uh, and you can see I'm completing in um, the lines heavy as I go here now, which I'm quite certain of uh, having everything set up properly. So with insulation and the concrete slab as well and have the small piece of insulation as well to allow for at the wall to prevent the break and I've after drawn a hundred millimeter line there to show uh, the width of the uh, insulation in the cavity and I've also set in the deep DPC 150 millimeters up uh, from the bottom here and I've included a red line showing the stepped DPC going across and to meet the DPM so the DPM is in red and the DPC is in blue and it differs slightly to the actual drawing as well and I've included some of the details showing uh, the clay and showing the details that would be used for uh, concrete and insulation so it's important to get those looking similar to what I've drawn there some of my ones are slightly old school in that um, the hardcore is shown in as you know, like small pebbles or stone and we need to include all the details that are shown here as well all are included in the workbook as well so really, um, it's, it's just a case of placing them in. Important things to note are that I'm using guidelines to put them in and um, including dimensions with what each of these things are without. Including these here, all it is is a picture. So we want to include those in. Other little things that we've missed on here would be the floor covering I, I have in. Could be quarry tile, could be tiles, could be timber floor, and a skirting board, and we've got external plaster render. Uh, which is 20 and the internal plaster render is only 12 Important to put all these details in as well. Another thing that I've shown in is a lean mix fill uh, from the bottom of the, or from the foundation up to fill the cavity. This could also be a cavity block or uh, like a, a foundation block which is a large block which is a um, a 300 mil block that will be laid in its flat. Important as well too with the foundation to show that you have uh, three times the width uh, shown for the width of the, of the the find you can see the sizes are all included in here at our scale and all the details. So it's quite rushed through this here. The the I've got the cross hatch being shown drawn in here. I'm not measuring anything. If it looks good, it's good enough, and that's a kind of good enough rule to go by because you won't have a lot of time when it comes to exams. So speed is very important. Although I doubt you'll manage the speed that I'm doing here. And a little bit of colour helps to lift the, your drawing as well to make it look uh, a little bit better. So yellow is a good colour for the insulation. A few dots to show the sand and underneath it there for the blinding. And a little bit of blue and a bit of, little bit of brown. You only need four or five colours in total really. And I'm highlighting all the different parts in here. It's only the bell cast wouldn't be shown in the, the workbook. Uh, outside of that there, pretty much everything else is in the workbook. So um, 
there might be slightly more depth than the, the hardcore, but uh, that's the way I would go about it, and I'd complete a draw on the show.